the Roblox Innovation Awards 2024 voting is a mistake. So let me explain. So we have three matters to vote. So we have RDC voting, we have predictions, and also we have the daily voting. So the first problem for this Roblox Innovation Awards voting is, as you guys can see here, when you go here, what do you see the problem? Yes, is the vote count is public. Like we can see there, Tower of Hell get the most votes, 541,299. Obi by is around 200,000. Alti Torture 50,000 and Flood Escape to 65,000. So like, yeah, that's a big problem. Like, uh, it's such a mistake from Roblox themselves. Like, why did they show the number of votes you know it's like doesn't make any sense it's not a secret then so like everybody will see like oh this game have a very high vote so i'm gonna vote for that game even if like the game is unknown by me gets high votes like you know what this this game's gonna win you know it's because you have high votes you know let's vote for that game you know so like that is it's not fair like I, I don't understand why they did this. Like, I can already see that's the first big mess up from Roblox themselves for that. And the second one is right over here, the prediction. So as you guys remember, um, each get, they have around, I think, like nine categories, I believe. Um, so what you're going to do here is uh, lock your predictions of games that are going to get win in this um, awards. So um, basically, the daily voting have connection with these predictions, right? So for example, like I gonna put Obi but you on a bike, right? As my predictions. But now because of the voting count is public, and you see that the Tower of Heck is like getting a lot of votes, so you're like, oh, I can change it to Tower of Hell for the predictions because you know the predictions you uh you can change it anytime you want. Like if you see that the uh the game have vote count is higher, so you can just you know put out Tower of Hell there, and then after three hours it's gonna lock at the Tower of Hell. You cannot change anymore. So it means that after this timer ends, you cannot change the prediction for best obby anymore because you know that's it. That's for that, and you're gonna start for the best shooter. But the problem here is whenever you put out the predictions, it's not going to lock like whatever the daily voting did. Like whenever you do the voting, you vote for that one game, you cannot vote anymore. That's it. That's your vote. So, but for these predictions, you can change it anytime you want before the timers end. And like the problem that I say just now is if the voting count is public, you know, whenever that game got high votes, of course, you're going to predict that game's going to win, right? And you're going to get points easily. You're going to get the items very easily. So like... That's a big mess up from Roblox themselves, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's just a big mess up from Roblox. Like, I was expecting like the voting counts just gonna be like, oh, it's just gonna be like secret, you know? The voting counts not gonna show. But at, uh, in the end, uh, man, it's, it's, it's just a big mess up from Roblox on this one. Like, uh, I, I don't know what to say. So like, uh, when that voting so the summary here is the problem for this voting is that voting count for the daily votes is public so whenever that game got highest vote of course you're gonna go for these predictions and you're gonna unlock for that game to get uh you know most points right so you get that points very easily so yeah that's a very big mess up from roblox themselves but i don't know if they're gonna fix it for the next category or something but yeah, that's a very, very big mess up from Roblox there. So another one of the problem is, uh, this is actually from, I get, uh, Roblox uh, events, uh, one of the Roblox events account, um, that's saying that they like the voting hub and all. But yeah, voting hub is very interesting. I love the voting hub, it's very great. But the problem for this is a lot of games, they are like buying votes like for example so sarinji right here this is the uh, screenshot from the discord where the dev saying if you win you're gonna get this of these rewards i mean this thing has been done years and years and years now but this year is a bit worse for this one game called so sarinji as you can see from the screenshot there one of the rewards is you're gonna get an item not guaranteed gonna get an item by that i mean like you have to, I don't know, I don't know how Souls RNG was, I heard like it's like very pay to win, it's like a gambling, it's like, you know, pass simulator thingies, right? Like, that's like, you can get the items there by pay to win, right? 
So if you see one of the items there that saying in the Discord saying that increase the uh, amount uh, is it, I think increase the percentage of getting that item to that that from that percent to this percent if they win. That's just messed up, you know. Like that percentage is still low. Like if you think that that percentage is still low, and that's a very big mess up from Soul RNG there. But I know that Soul RNG players is like don't care. They're gonna be like you know manipulating it or like maybe doing an all accounts or maybe boss account because I hear some reports like that's already like boss account. All accounts just vote for that one game. So. I, I'm very excited to see how this goes. I feel like this has been done years and years, but this time because of the problems that I seen for the voting hub, it's I think it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So I feel like I don't know this year was gonna be not gonna be that interesting because the voting count already we already know is gonna win because of that. So yeah, I I do uh I guess we're gonna wait and see what's gonna happen. Um, but it also not only so RNG but um some games also doing this as well other games like i heard doors also like you know they're teasing um they are being speculating that they're teasing they have a new teaser on the floor too those floor too uh, and some people are uh, not manipulating it i mean like um giving theory like they did this to get more votes for the best horror game and other than that it's like piggy like you know they're saying that mini is gonna make a new chapter if uh, Piggy wins, but actually, um, Mini Toon actually giving suggestion to someone that asked if Piggy win, what would they get? He actually did not forcing people to vote, but he said if you want to, then sure, he has no problem with it. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if Piggy count as quote unquote buying votes, but I, I'm not gonna count for that. So, yeah, there's a lot of big problems with Roblox Innovation Awards voting as of right now like with the voting count is public uh with the predictions you can you can change it like before the timer ends like i wish the predictions like whenever you click that one game you cannot change it anymore just like you know the the daily voting but i guess you know it's not gonna be like that even daily voting also showing like public vote count so like what's the point anymore right it's already ruined so uh man i I, I am very, you know, going to see how it's going to go whenever this going to be ends or are they going to change it, anything or how is it going to be. So, yeah, still I'm excited for the Roblox Innovation Awards. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited for it, even for the RDC later on. I'm very excited for that. But just uh, the voting is just kind of messed up for right now. So if you guys want to vote, then it's on you guys. So, okay, I already informed you what you guys the problem is. So it's on you guys. So... That's all for today's video. Now, before I end this video, I'm going to say a huge appreciation and thank you for the 500 subscribers that I received. Um, it's, like, it's very been a long time I started this YouTube channel. I think I started in back in 2019. Um, and it's been a long journey until this, you know, 500 subscribers. So I appreciate it and thank you guys so much for that 500 subscribers. And because of that, I would like to announce that I already started my channel membership. But for now, I put out two tiers for the channel membership. The first tier is Epic Members. I put the cheapest price as possible. For my country currency is five ringgit. I just follow the YouTube popular tiers, you know, price. So I'm gonna put it five ringgit. Uh, you gotta get like you know every YouTube channel members get you know member chat, uh, member comments and shout out. I you're gonna get shout out as well if you purchase uh membership as well. So if you guys wanna buy it and wanna support me, sure you can. But if you can afford it, then that is fine. I appreciate it as well if you you know support my channel if you didn't buy uh memberships. But if you support it memberships, then I appreciate it very much. And also the second tier, uh, I think I'm gonna put around. I don't know, around my country currency is going to be like um, 20 to 50 ringgit, I guess. Uh, in the final, I'm going to show the screenshot right here where you can get um, add friend requests from me. You know, if you want to um, be friends with me on Roblox, then um, later on, I'm going to put member posts if you bought that uh, membership and then uh, you can put up uh, your Roblox username and I will add you in Roblox. So yeah, there's another extra... Uh, perks if you bought that um, legendary members for the second tier for my membership so if you want to purchase it then sure go ahead and i'll be appreciated very much so thank you so much for watching this video make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time